Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Tyler with My Computer Works, and today we are going to be discussing screenshots. Now screenshots, put simply, is a picture of what is on your screen at any given time, right? Ah, perfect. There was a screenshot right there. So I took a screenshot of what was happening on this video at that exact moment, and I look ridiculous. But that's what screenshots are for, and there's no better way I could have described it. Now let's talk about what we're going to go over in today's video because we're going to be covering quite a bit. So we already know what screenshots are. Well, I want to show you one, how do you use your Windows computer to take a screenshot? And I'll also be covering how Macs take a screenshot as well. We'll be covering how iPhones take screenshots. And then of course, we've got to do droids as well. Now for Windows and iPhone, I'll be giving actual on-screen examples. So anyone using an iPhone, an Android, a Windows, or a Mac computer should be able to take a screenshot by the end of this video. Now let's jump right in and start with Windows computer. Now on Windows, it's relatively easy to take a screenshot. All you have to do is press the Windows key and the print screen keys on your keyboard and a screenshot will be sent to a folder in your file explorer marked screenshots. Now let's show this on screen, right? So I'm hitting the Windows key and the print screen key it didn't exactly show it very well, but if I go into my folder here, into the screenshots, I now have a picture of what was on screen, okay? Now, if we just wanna capture a specific part of the screen, we can use Windows key plus Shift plus S, which I'm gonna show here. And with that, we can just capture one specific part of the screen. Now, Mac has its own variation of this, of course. You would use Command Shift plus three to capture the entire screen. Or let's say you just want to capture a specific window. This is a bit trickier, but anyone could still do this. You want to hit Command, Shift, and 4, and then the space bar, and then you go to the window that you want to capture, and you click on it. Okay, again, let's run back through that. So Command, Shift, 4, press your space bar, take your cursor to the window you want to capture, and click on it, okay? Now let's take a look at this process on the iPhone, okay? Now, this method will be pretty similar to how it's done on Android, uh, but I have an iPhone, so that is how I'm going to show it. So um, let's say I had like this article that I found online about, you know, Star Wars here. <laughs> of course, I'm a Star Wars fan. I would do a volume up and the sidebar, right? Side button, boom. So there's only one button on most of the new iPhones on, on the one side, and then on the other side, there's a volume up volume down and so you would just hit them both at the same time let me show that better in screen just both at the same time screenshot goes to your pictures typically okay so right into your pictures on the iphone ipad pretty similar um, if you have a modern ipad it's going to be the top button and the side button or if it's an older model some of them had the home button and the top button you would hit them both at the same time okay now Androids S process is similar to iPhones, like I said earlier, but it's reversed actually. So you would hold the power and the volume down button, not the volume up at the same time, just like I did on the iPhone. And that'll take a screenshot. Now that usually goes to your gallery. If you have a gallery, like a folder for screenshots in there, that's usually where it's going to go. Okay. Now let's review one more time where all the screenshots are going, because I don't want anybody to forget, right? So on windows, they would be dropping into the pictures library and then into the screenshots folder by default. With Mac OS, not as much searching. They usually drop right out to the desktop, okay? iPhone and iPad, again, they typically either go right into your general picture area or into an area marked for screenshots. If you, an album, sometimes on, on some iPhone and iPads, you'll have a screenshot album, okay? On Android, they usually go to the gallery or the photos area. And again, they can be marked as screenshots in there. They might have their own album section, okay? In conclusion though, screenshots can be a great way to share something you saw or something you were doing on the screen at the time that you wanna share with somebody. I can think of a really great example of when screenshots come in handy is all the time here at My Computer Works. If a client is having an issue on their computer or having an error or um, you know whatever issue popping up frequently a window 
it's not always very easy to remember what that window says or what the error message read. So take a screenshot, right? If you take a screenshot, you can show a professional like the technicians here at My Computer Works, and then we can help with that issue, okay? But it, they come in handy for a lot of different fun reasons as well. Like let's say there was a sale or an item or a picture that you didn't wanna lose that you were looking at online. Somebody sent you, captured a message on Facebook, whatever. Screenshots can be great for that too. So my goal is, I hope this video helped anybody struggling to take a screenshot. And if it did, please leave a comment below. And while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe so that we can see you all on the next one. Thank you everyone and stay safe out there.